what is creative freedom? To what extent do any of us have creative freedom? Nothing and nobody is completely free. We're always going to be hemmed in by something, and that doesn't just apply to creative freedom, that applies to all freedoms you, you care to think of. We're always limited in some way. Even without laws or government, we're always limited. So for a creative person going into a, into a project, or even trying to go into a project, there's things that are already hemming you in. Do you have any talent? If you don't have the talent, you can't do the thing. So you're already hemmed in by whether you can do it or not. Now, the degree of talent is subjective. Obviously, some people love certain artists, some people hate those same artists, often for the same reasons. Um, but in and of yourself, do you, do you have the talent? Can you make the thing? Um, and something they don't tell you, just as a quick aside, is just by being willing to try and make something, you're already ahead of 90% of the competition. So keep that in mind. If something's holding you back from trying, try it anyway. If you turn out not to be any good at it, try something else. So. You're already hemmed in by talent. Whether you can do something, whether you're any good at, at something, yeah. You know, if if you can't do it and you're no good at it, then maybe you can't do it. So your freedom's already curtailed there. Um, there's financial considerations. Uh, we live in a capitalistic economy. Um, unless you've got a lot of spare time and you're willing to spend it on something that doesn't pay. Um, then there's a lot of pressure on your on your free time. Do you do you have the time to do it? Can you make this creative process that you're engaged in pay for you? Can you make it pay enough to live on? These are all considerations, um, and they all limit your personal freedom. Is what you make going to sell? Can you make it appeal to people? Um, you know, even if it's just a niche, you know, can you can you up the price slightly? You know, so. It makes your time worthwhile, basically. And is it something that will sell? Is is a commercial issue, and it's a limit on your freedom. Because if you're work, if you're working creative commercially, then what you produce, you have to think will will sell. Otherwise, it's a, it's a it's a non-starter unless you're willing to make sacrifices. So that's a limit on your creative freedom. Um, material concerns limit your creative freedom. Um, can you? create a sculpture out of this substance that will actually stand? Can you get the effects that you need from this paint? Can you, you know, get, will, will, the, will the computer program that you're using allow you to do what you need to do? Or will you have to get someone to develop extra tools for you? Can they develop extra tools for you? What are the memory limitations? Um, all, the, all these kind of things, these all limit what you can do. So yeah, that's, that's just, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's legal constraints, you know, is, is what you want to make legal, um, whether the law is an arse or not, you know, are you willing to take the risk of breaking the law to, to create the thing that you want to create? Um, is there going to be some kind of social backlash to what you create? You know, if you um, are someone who creates erotic art or, or pornography or uh, violent content, horror films, um, violent games, you know, criminal, criminal stories. You know, it, it, do you, is what you're writing trying to glorify drug use, or even just just present it neutrally as, as not necessarily 100% bad? Things things like this. Um, are you going to run afoul of the law? Are you going to run afoul of pressure groups? Are you going to run afoul of activists? Are you going to be hounded and mobbed and sent death threats and so on and are you willing to accept that as part of the cost of doing business or part of the cost of being creative so all these things self-censorship external censorship uh, law talent materials time time is a big constraint um, all these things already limit your limit your freedom so you might ask if your freedom is already curtailed so much in what you can create. Um, you know, what's a, what's an extra thing? What what's a concern for representation, or what's a concern for um, positive discrimination in in the way you portray characters or the style of art that you do, or whatever? 
yeah, if all these things are already hemming you in, hemming you in, hemming you in, what, what's what's a couple of extra things? What what's the big deal? Well, it's it's precisely because you're already hemmed in that the few areas in which you still have freedom become such a huge deal um, as as a creator. So unwarranted or optional um, things that that can press in on you and can tell your freedom, those become serious bones of contention because then you're going beyond what's forced upon you by circumstance or law or government or whatever and you're going beyond you know what can I do what are my personal flaws or strengths um, am I any good at doing this you're going beyond that to external factors that aren't enforced by conventional means but definitely you feel them as, as, as precious as a creator and because you've got so little latitude in all these other areas these become really really important so if you're experiencing pushback from creators and fans on subjects that you think are hugely important but which are optional and exist within a space where your needs are catered to elsewhere don't be so surprised because the act of creation is intensely personal and fans also take material intensely personally so you're going to get pushback on that same personal basis and that's why what little true creative freedom we still have left is so important peace out